Did you guys know that steaming your milk probably actually makes a difference in the way that your latte will taste? Don't take my word for it, but you should just try it out yourself. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I steam my milk and how I create that beautiful microfoam that you can potentially do coffee art with if you learn how to do that. In this specific video, I'm gonna be using this oat milk because I just love the taste of this one the most. But you can use any milk that you want. You can use a regular dairy milk or an, any kind of non-dairy milk. The technique is pretty much the same. The one thing that you should note though is that if you're steaming a non-dairy milk, you should have it right out of the fridge. So you just want it very cold because a non-dairy milk heats up a lot quicker and has less time to create that beautiful foam. Also something to note is that the regular dairy milk, it naturally makes more foam when it's steamed properly. So when you start, turn on the steamer and let it go for a couple seconds to let out some of the water as it heats up. Then you will emerge the wand into the milk, hold the pitcher at a slight angle. Right after you turn on the steamer, lower your pitcher just a little bit to bring the end of the wand to the edge of the milk. While holding your pitcher still at an angle, you're gonna want to see the milk swirling kind of in a circle-like motion, and you're gonna wanna hear something kind of like a paper tearing or like a small hissing sound. Very important. What you don't want to hear is a high pitched noise. If the noise is too high, just pull down the pitcher a little bit more and you're going to want some of that air to just come out. Pull it down a little bit so that way the wand is kind of at the, at the edge of the tip of the starting point of the milk and that just aerates the milk a little bit and that's what's creating that beautiful foam. But you don't want to have it out too much because if you do and it's creating like a lot of that like bubbly sounds, you are putting too much air into the milk. So you just want it at that perfect level and you will know that by the sound that it makes. So you just want the sound to be kind of like a tear-like sound or like a, a soft hissing sound throughout the steaming process. Make sure the wand is a little bit closer to the wall of the pitcher instead of the middle to create that beautiful like swirling motion in the milk. And the way you know you're finished steaming is when the pitcher gets so hot that you can't touch it with your hand and then you will just turn it off and then you will take the milk from the wand. You don't wanna take it out before turning off the steamer because that's just gonna make a mess and yeah, you don't wanna do that. Right after finishing your steam, you're gonna pound the pitcher a little bit on a hard surface, get rid of those airy bubbles in there so you kind of can swirl it around a little bit and look at that beautiful foam, you guys. Especially for a non-dairy milk with very little, this milk has very little ingredients and it's usually harder to create a very nice foam with milk that is more on the watery side versus a creamy milk. This is very good foam, you guys. Um, check it out. So I'm gonna try and do some coffee art, but don't laugh. Is this helpful? If it is, hit the like button. Guys, if you haven't checked out my review of the Breville Barista Pro coffee machine that I own, check out the video here or here. Check it out. Guys, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you would want me to cover. This video was a special request by one of my subscribers, and so I'm honoring that request. So if you guys have any kind of questions, please let me know. Hey, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Bye!